Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow and welcome to another drag race video. So I'm sat in my Audi RS6 daily driver and next to me is an Audi RS7 and we're gonna see which is the quickest over the standing quarter mile. May seem a bit odd, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Actually, before we get into that, which do you think is the best car out of these two? Which would you rather have? And while well, you're answering that question, also talk to me about these specs. So this has obviously got this green paint and the brown interior. That one has this really nice gray exterior without the black pack, so it's got the silver accents and quite basic silver wheels, but it looks really cool to me. And the inside is black. Let me know in the comments below which car and color combination you like the best. Let me tell you about these cars then. They've both got a four litre twin turbo V8 with 600 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. They've both got an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter, but launch control. And they've both got quattro all wheel drive. This car weighs 2,075 kilos. That weighs 2,065 kilos. So a bit lighter due to the shape of its body. This costs 95 and a half thousand pounds. That's 98 and a half thousand pounds. Not much in it really. I just wanna see what's gonna happen. Will those differences make a difference? It just seems a bit odd, but I've got the cars here. Let's race them and see what happens. Now, before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now, if you're thinking about buying a new car, all you have to do is Google, help me car wow and me and my team will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers let's go on with the race buying a new car then head to car wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price car wow your one-stop car buying comparison site before we race let's do the customary car wow sound check oh yeah soft limit up look just after three sounds rubbish Got a sports exhaust on it as well. Let's hit the RS7. It's the same story with that. I hate Audi and its soft limiters. They're just so annoying. BMW doesn't have them. Anyway, let's get on with the race. What's going to happen? It's all about reaction time, this. <laughs> oh, come on. It's so funny watching that pitch skywood. <laughs> Is he coming back? That's coming back. This is gonna be close. That was so interesting. I launched brilliantly. You were a bit slower off the line, I think, than me, but it seemed to be pulling it back. I agree, I was a fraction behind you off the start, and it definitely pulled it back. I, I couldn't call it at the end, though. It was so close. So then, what exactly happened? Well, despite the pouring rain, both cars managed to do the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds, though the slow motion replay shows the RS6 was just ahead and crossed the line first. Now we're going to do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. I'm going to put the cars into their comfort mode. So I'll just press my RS button to turn it off. All in auto, auto mode for the gearbox, normal drive, no messing. Let's do it, let's see what happens. I'll call it in, get level. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I love the tail lights of that. <laughs> That's one advantage of getting destroyed. You get to appreciate the back end of that car. I love the design and I love Audi's light signatures. So nice. Was that in full auto, just normal auto comfort? Promise, I've got it in comfort driving mode in D and it absolutely went off like a rocket. This was like, eh, well, maybe I'll change gears. All right, okay, I will. And then it took off. I get the sense that Audi may be setting that RS7 up to be more sporty because it's a coupe. It certainly feels like it driving it, but I'm not sure. Did I make the wrong choice by getting the RS6 and not the RS7? 
Hmm. Now, if you want to see my hello video on this car, where I go through all the spec that I chose and the mistakes that I might have made, <laughs> click on the Bob Out banner up there to go watch that video. It's quite funny. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Right, now you're going to do the same thing again, rolling race, 50 miles an hour, but I'm going to put the car into its sporty setting. So it's going to go into RS2 mode and then into manual mode for the gearbox, doing third gear. Right, you ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. He cocked his gear change. Did you mess up your gear change? I went too early, to be honest. I didn't miss it, I just went too early. That's what his wife always says. That's why he's got two kids. Didn't mean to have, he just has now. And a problem for me, obviously. See? <laughs> he just admitted it himself. <laughs> I wasn't being rude, it's a fact. It's a medical condition. You can't help it. Okay, you ready this time? You're not gonna come too soon. I'm gonna come on time. Blah, sorry. Okay, here we go. 50, 3, 2, 1, go. That's neck and neck. Right, bailing. Do you know what I reckon? I don't think Audi has actually tuned them to be quicker because there, all things being equal, no difference in traction or anything like that because of standing water and no kind of gearbox. And these gearboxes, these eight speeds can sometimes be a bit sluggish if you catch them wrong. The performance is the same, isn't it? Let's be honest, I think we were just making things up. Yeah, I think we were making up. We were neck and neck there the whole way down. Oh, I'm glad we established that. Right, now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach line full emergency stop, see which car stops in the shortest distance. Let's do it. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful view. Sun setting over there. The water on the track is reflecting that lovely orange light. Concentrate, Matt, you gotta do a brake test. Where's that line? I can't see it. There it is. I always lose the brake test, guaranteed. Am I going late? Are people going early? I don't know. He went early again, that's what I think. What do you? Let me know in the comments about my brake test ability. I'm interested. Closely matched these cars. The launch is just all down to your traction and how well it hooks up and the gearboxes on these can be a bit slow and kick down when you're in comfort. This one was just caught napping. Brake test, he won that, but not by much. Well, there we go. It's the end of another drag race. Hope you enjoyed it. And it's the end of the day. I think I might just sit here and enjoy the beautiful sunset. Now, if you've been watching these drag races for a while and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now, I found an amazing deal on one of these cars through CarWow. And if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can see exactly what that deal is and which car it's on. Quite surprising, actually. See you next time. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Now, if you click on that box there, you can watch me drag race a tuned BMW M5 with a thousand horsepower against a Porsche 911 Turbo S. And if you click on the box down there, you can watch a Turbo S take on a Porsche Taycan in a drag race. And if you click on that box there, you can actually check out our CarWow drag race leaderboard where we've got all the times of all the cars we've drag raced. Go check it out.